NASA's Stratospheric Observatory for Infrared Astronomy, or SOFIA, completed its first science flight on Wednesday, December 1st, demonstrating the Airborne Observatory's ability to make observations not possible from ground-based telescopes. The flight was the first of six planned over the coming months during the observatory's short science series. This is the region we're talking about. The PAH uh, observations we're going to take are here of the, uh, the photoionizing observations are here. And we're going to look at them at a variety of wavelengths and then model those, uh, the emission we get from the variety of wavelengths. The docket is probably going to be this source. Because it's coming along for the ride. But the, the dominating thing is let's get the let's get as deep as we can at the longer wavelengths. So that's by this mission has a spectral energy distribution which is very flat, but once it got hit by the impactor, then you, you see all sorts of uh This milestone represents the uh, completion of a significant amount of work that's been done really over a, a period of a decade with wind tunnel testing, structural analysis, and the flight test that was done uh, on, on the airplane more recently. 
and we basically demonstrated that the airplane uh, flies just like a standard 747 and it's now ready to go start its science mission. We'll be looking at nearby objects in our own solar system like comets and other planets like Jupiter to better understand the development of Earth. Um, and we'll be looking at star forming regions in our galaxy to better understand the fundamental building blocks of life itself. SOFIA provides this great collaboration between NASA and the German Space Agency, DLR, where both agencies got together and NASA provided the platform, this aircraft, Boeing 747, and the German Space Agency pr provided this two and a half meter telescope, the combination of which is the biggest flying observatory in the world. 